this power? All right. So yesterday we got the new characters. It was Captain Falcon. We got Robin, and we got Lucina. Now I want to set the uh, first two aside, and I just want to talk about Lucina a little bit more. So when whenever we saw her in the trailer, we were yeah, excuse me, we were confused about if she was gonna be be an alt costume or she was gonna be her own separate character. Sakurai himself said this. Pick of the day. Alongside with Robin, Lucina joins the battle. Her physical abilities are identical to Mark. It must be in her DNA. However, Mark's power is concentrated in the tip of the sword, while Lucina's is balanced throughout the weapon. She's also a bit shorter than Mark. So pretty much what he is saying is that she is pretty much a Roy from Melee, except uh, Roy's powers from the hilt of the blade, while hers is everywhere like that she we could pretty much say she has no specific concentrated power he also said with the we fit traders the male and female robins the villagers and little mac vary their appearance and voices by just selecting alternate variations however whenever there is even a small difference whenever there's a small difference in certain attacks that they do the character gets an aspect uh, roster slot. So, for those people that were confused about if she was going to be an alt, <coughs> excuse me. For those people that were confused about if she was going to be an alt for Mark, we were all wrong. She is her own fighter. All right, here is going to be my final take of it. At first, I was kind of mad because she was a clone. She was literally an exact clone of Mark. We got details. I'm proud to make this statement now that honestly, I'll take her if she's the only one, <clears throat> excuse me, if she's the only one that is going to be doing this because in fighting games, you do have clones. You have, I would just say Smash Bros. for example. In Smash Bros. 64, you have Luigi being a clone of Mario, even though his moves may do different stuff, but in that game, he was pretty much the clone of the game. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, well, that's just self-explanatory. There's like a shit ton of clones in that one. In Brawl, probably the closest one I could put clone-wise was Toon Link. Even though he was a lot faster, weaker, but still, I, I'll probably put him as clone status. Because everybody's saying he was a clone. In this game, I can't say Toon Link is a clone. Even though he plays exactly the same way as he did in Brawl. But Link actually got buffed to the point where it, it pretty much isn't clone status anymore. So, I can't say they're clones. Like I said, every, every fighting game has that one clone. Or a couple. Or like, one or two clones. Street Fighter, you have Ryu, Ken, Evil Ryu, and a whole bunch of other people. I don't, I don't know. I haven't played Street Fighter in forever. It, it's just clones are pretty much a thing of fighting games. Because I guess they ran out of ideas or whatever. So, like I said, my final thing is, I'm okay with it this time. Even though she is a waste of a character slot, I am okay with it this time. And I hope that Sakurai doesn't do that again. So with that being said, I hope all the questions are being answered and we may actually, since she is pretty much like a Roy of this game, maybe we'll get you know who? You know, uh, you know the, 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 the Pokemon that everybody be, keeps talking about? You know, uh, you know that thing that, uh, is a Shadow Mountain? And, uh, the thing that got more Ranger Project up And, uh, okay, I'll stop that. But, <laughs> but yeah, like I said, since she's her own character slot and she's pretty much a clone just without the tip power, I'll accept it this time. Like I said, she may be a waste of a character slot and I really do hate that. But I'll accept it this time. 
If it happens again, I, I, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> if it happens again, I'll, I'll, I'll call Soccer right, right out and say that it's fucking stupid. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope I kind of explained something about this whole situation of Lucida in Super Smash Bros. If you have any questions or if you have anything to say about this video, don't forget to put your comments down below. Uh, don't forget to check out everything that's in the description. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already that I'll be doing Super Smash Bros. content when the game comes out. Thank you guys for watching. This is Ultradeck24. Hope you have a good day slash night, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.